different kind of categories. First one being be fruitful, multiply, and have dominion. So we're going to be going through these points. First off, be fruitful. And so I looked online for the definition. I found very, very many different definitions. But the one I want to focus on is this one right here. Abundantly productive. And it says, Amen. In the dictionary, it means abundantly productive. But what is what are we being abundantly productive in? That's the question. So I want to go one one scripture before the one I just read, Genesis 1 27. It says, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Another one as well. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly father is perfect. So as I go back to this one, right? In the Bible it says, be fruitful. And I believe this is abundantly productive. In becoming the image of God or becoming perfect like our Heavenly Father is perfect. Amen. 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 Be fruitful is, is a very deep kind of meaning behind it. To become perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect. God has given us this blessing to be able to grow in our life. Can I get an amen? amen. amen. And so, what are we growing in, right? And so, there's a lot of different things that God has blessed us to be able to grow in. In my life, I've experienced a lot of growth in all these, especially in this past two years that I've committed my life to our Lord and Savior. Right? All these things I've been growing in my heart, my spirit, my character, my love. And through all of it, I felt so much joy just feeling this growth and this, this development in every single one of these. I can say I'm a completely different person just two years ago. this though, I feel God is also giving us the blessings of our personal relationship with God. This is what God is asking us to accomplish in our life. For us to be able to develop our personal relationship with God but also our a relationship with other people through these kind of characteristics. There's in the Bible, right? The, the two commandments that Jesus Christ emphasized was to love, Lord, love God uh, with all of our hearts and to love our neighbors as ourselves. And these two things describe us so well. Our personal relationship with God, but also our developing our hearts and our spirit, our character, our love to be able to embrace and love our brothers and sisters. Because we are one family under God. Amen. 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 So on this foundation, I believe these three good blessings, they're connected with one another. Upon this foundation with a deep and valuable relationship with God, we can then be able to invest into the family multiplication. God said to multiply. This is such a beautiful thing in our life. Be having having a family in our life. And this, I like the dictionary. So I like to always go back to the dictionary. So it says in the dictionary, you become greater in number. But I feel this is a much deeper kind of perspective as well. It's not just to, to, to spread our numbers and to multiply, but God is asking us to do it in the name of God, in the name of our Lord Jesus. He's asking us to accept our family. God, and through that we can do it and experience so much joy. I even just need to think about my future.